so I, I got a new line on here, all right? And it's pretty cool. Um, I need to kind of put this thing under tension, okay? Um, now, uh, it, 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 it was difficult, okay? I mean, it was because you got to understand how this thing's put together, okay? So, uh, I, this thing's pretty reasonably clean on the inside. I, I haven't really done nothing on the outside with it. Um, you know, um, people call these garbage, but um, the, these, this is history here for, for fly fishing. This is um, what was sold as the stuff, man, back in the day, I guess. But I, I, I got this uh, fly rod, um, this fiberglass one, and apparently it was made in like 60, in the 60s, okay? And um, let's see. Okay. And it's a, uh, a, a, a Wright and McGill dandy, and it's seven and a half feet long. I mean, it casts really nice for a fiberglass rod, and I, I, I fish fiberglass, um, and I love it. Um, and it came with this reel. It was a gift. And, you know, and I was like, well, how cool would it be to fish this reel or this rod with, with this reel? Now, the fly line, was, it, the fly line, like, broke. I mean, it was like dry rot. Uh, the, the, the cork handle still had the cellophane on it. Okay, so, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, uh, th this is a beautiful rod. And, it, and it's got some bad, decent backbone. Um, and it, and, but this reel came with it, okay? And it had, uh, like, this, like, braided line with some stuff over it, uh, like some, some kind of plastic or something over it. And, you know, and it needed to be replaced. Now, it, I was able to take this uh, real part, and it was a booger. I mean, because uh, the way it is, is, is it's engineered in two halves. This half, right here, this half, on, on the left of this little deal here, is, is the easiest part. The, this part's, like, easy. Um... The, the whole crux of this reel going back together the way it needs, and this is the winder right here, okay, is all on this part, okay. So everything from here over, okay, needs to be assembled before you put it on this part here, okay. And there's a little, um, like right here is a little, uh, th this thing here makes it like free spin or something like that which is cool, and then back here, there's a little pin back here, and, and you push that in, and it like locks it up or something. Um, but that, with that, without pushing that in, you can't get this thing off, okay? But it pretty much locks in once you, you do it, okay? I mean, it's not like foolproof, but you can see here it kinda, um, you know, mess around or whatever. But, and then under here, under here, is, is a little mechanism uh, that grabs the, the spring gear, the gear that the spring triggers. And you can hear it. So, like, if you, well, I don't think you can move this right now. It has, it has to be uh, not under tension. But, so here's the trigger, and, you know, and then it, it, it rolls. Okay, I, I don't want to do it because it's hard to dig this uh, line out of there. But once you figure these things out, I mean, the, the, the drawback is this one's too small by to, today's line standards because it only holds like 20 yards of line, a fly line. And, and so there's no backing on this. I had to put the fly line straight on there, okay, because it's probably just equipped for like a regular fly line um, and uh, yeah this is a number 37 so th this 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 is a cool experience let me tell you you just can't let this reel out think you okay and once you look at it what it is 
then it makes total sense the way it's put together, okay? So, um, I mean, I, it, it just, it's just, it, it looks, it just looks, I mean, it just looks so cool with this uh, reel on it. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just a nice looking vintage look, you know? And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm glad I did it, okay? Um, I, I don't think I'm going to be happy with this line on it. Um, and, and, and am I going to take this apart? Well, I can take it apart and put new line on it. Yeah, I can do that. Um, what I'll probably do in the future, I might just keep this as is or whatever. Um, but this, um, but th this is cool here. This is a cool experience. And, uh, you know, very, very uh, engineered very weirdly. <laughs> you know, not, it defies logic. Whoever did this should have probably like built a car out of rubber bands or something. I don't know. But people are calling this vintage garbage. That's fine. All right. Thanks for watching.